All right, you guys, we are back with Prodigy. A lot of you guys probably are already familiar with him uh, from his live PvP match battles with Daniel Boone. Um, Prodigy, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself nonetheless and uh, talk about where people can find you. Uh, yeah, so I'm Prodigy, also Zach Burrell. Uh, my name's definitely out there by now. Um, <laughs> so I'm a World Vision streamer, YouTuber, PvP, fanatic i guess i'm playing the game because of the pvp yeah uh, so my youtube you can just look up uh, prodigy wotv and it should i should be one of the only results um also if you want to look up the podcast to find me that way it's let's talk tactics uh hosted by myself co-hosted by danu boone and lock d uh, lock d if anybody's been on reddit and read the guides by haku snow that's lock oh so, i didn't know haku snow was uh lock d yeah so he's our third member of the podcast yep so any post by haku snow that same wisdom's on the cast I did not know that. I love Lock Also, Minute Havoc, I see you in the chat there. 97% chance of success of an awesome stream. Can I pull it off? <laughs> that hurts. That hurts. Um, we'll talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> um, if anybody were going to join a Discord for live PvP or wanted to be involved in live PvP, how would they go about doing that right now? So, I don't know if you can put a link in now, but there is a live PvP, uh, live PvP Discord uh, hosted by Danaboon and Locke, actually. They are both the admins for it. Okay. Um, I think Steph is in there, too, actually. They helped, or she helped them out setting, like, the whole Discord up. Oh, nice. But, uh, yeah, so you go there, and we have uh, matchmaking areas, so you can find people within your royal, like, if you're rank 101+, plus, I know you're in the, the Deadlands like we are, so if you want to find matches with people just to actually get medals for the day, you can find people there. Or um, you can just do a lot of practice matches. We do that all day, <laughs> honestly. Yeah. Uh, when tournaments are going on, we talk about uh, the meta with it and kind of what our thoughts and talk about like picks and bands, whatever the format happens to be that time. Yeah. But, it, no, it's a great place and a great resource to ask questions and learn about live PvP in general. Uh, Anyone who's interested. I agree. Um, live PvP is definitely not my subject matter expertise. <laughs> and I think there's a lot of streamers who are not subject matter experts on live PvP. I think we've kind of just handed it over to you, Daniel Boone and uh, Lock D. Uh, for those of you guys that don't know, Lock D and is- And Long Time Twitch, to be fair. Let's and be, Long uh, Time, yep, be yep, yep. Because yeah. Long Time is the one that coordinates the tournaments. I heard he's actually participating in this one as well, right? The one that's going yeah, on right he, now. He, uh, he whooped my ass yesterday uh, to knock me out of being undefeated. No, nah, uh, you got knocked yeah. out. <laughs> no. Well, I got out day by somebody else. So yesterday he he beat me, so I was no longer uh, up in the top two seeds with him. Wow. And, then, and I lost today to a Mustadio. To a Mustadio. Mustadio pushed me in. It was awful. <laughs> what did he do to you? disabled two of my units in the first two turns of engagement both games <laughs> wow so status yeah, ailment meta is very real right now you would say yes so it is between agrius uh so basically every game the most recent format we did for the tournament was uh you register five units you get to ban one pick two ban one you get your last unit so my first ban no matter who what agrius every time because i just don't want to deal with her coin flips so everything's a 48 percent chance you should have banned game. mustadio that's so he didn't have it <laughs> so I, have a, I left an opening on my team to lose to venera which was a big issue um so i banned venera and got just mustadioed <laughs> oh that's terrible yeah, but, yeah i mean that, them's the beats though when you don't plan for everything right so yeah no exactly <laughs> so are you excited for the changes that have been coming to live pvp so that's going to be like the automated um, match battles, and then the uh, upcoming... God, I can't even remember what it's called. Do you know what it's called? Class battles. Are they called the match class battles? battles? Class battles. Class battles. There we go. Where they're yeah. cost-restricted. Um, yeah. so, how do you feel about that? Things, sorry. Yeah, a couple things about those. Well, we'll get into class battles after I answer the current. Yeah. So, yeah. speed up, I'm fine with. I get it. People want to get their matches done faster. It, it can be a slog sometimes. I understand uh, games taking a half hour isn't cool uh -huh. for some people yeah. um however adding auto to it i'm a bit of a, a snob and i'm like you gotta work for something so like i wish there was an auto but if it gets more people interested and then maybe later down the line they'll actually try doing it manual i guess if, if it's that kind of gateway drug so to speak then i'm okay with it but is it an easy victory for you if you come matched up against someone who's autoing yeah 
yeah it's yeah. generally pretty predictable especially uh things like hate come into play on auto which mm-hmm. aren't normally a thing in live pvp you, you that's why tanks actually see them a lot less if you do see a tank it's because they're bruisery kind of like an agrius or somebody yep. who can actually deal damage it's not just like a engelbert you can yeah. build engelbert for damage especially on monk, monk sub job but generally you see the a little bit faster a little bit bruisier tanks uh in live pvp but yeah if you find an auto opponent i mean and the game tells you if they're on auto too. <laughs> oh, so does it? It tell can they switch so, off auto mid battle? Yes, uh, but people typically don't. So okay. in the bottom, when you get matched up, you can see they're on auto, um, and whoever has the higher speed takes priority. So if they're on two times, you're on one point five. You'll play on two. Okay. Um, and then once they are in the match, if you've ever noticed in like raids and stuff, at the bottom you can see the it says like auto thinking or the player's name yeah. thinking. Yep. If it sets auto thinking, you know it's their AI. Plus, you can tell how fast they move. I mean, especially right. two times. Right. It's, I actually like got scared the first time I played. I was like, "Oh my god!" So I just like <laughs> right my face, like the animation. I was, like, shit, this is fast. I was like, I wasn't expecting that, and I got like hit or whatever. But um, yeah, so those changes are. I'm lukewarm on the auto thing, but I'm, uh-huh. I'm happy with the speed. Class battles, though, so those would be, I think, a big thing for the game because the rewards are massive compared to the like 10 daily medals if you get a loss 20 if you win more if you get a streak there's like if you get to certain tiers where you get like five thousand medals which is a hermy sandals for right. somebody so, right like, that's that's huge um and also yeah the, the cost restrictions 540 isn't going to be an issue um i have a team of like rain miranda victora with all you are everything and they're 550 oh wow 60. so you so, have wait. to switch so what's the cost of the class battle? So a cost is uh, all units have a cost. So like yep. premium units like Gilgamesh or whatever, they're 100 cost. Do we know um, what the ca- what the actual cost of the class battle is? Or do you get matched it, up? It should be 540. So like it's okay. the cap. You can build up to 540. Okay. Um, so but it's interesting because Victra is actually, a lot of URs are like 80, right? So Victra is actually 70. So oh, she, can, but she's yeah, so she's strong. Like, that's what I said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but then if you switch one of your UR cards to an MR card, you're in that 540 range now off of like 560 or wherever you would be. So like, it's really not that bad. And there's a lot of playable MR cards, right? Like there's Snow White, you got Iron Giant, Cleansing the Mind, stuff like that. So, so um, it'll be awesome. Um, We're having different people say cost cap is different between 500 and 570. Um, of it course, it, yeah, it changes depending um, on what it's going to be. Uh, do you see it kind of making live PvP fairer in a way for people who are playing the class battles? Not until it hits 500. Okay, so you so think... 540 is not very restrictive. You're still going to have the same problems that people complain about, like having maxed out like all UR vision cards and UR units and all this stuff. You're going to have to wait until you see the 500 to where you actually have to start making some, sac- some sacrifices. And would you say that's where you're excited to see it go is the 500? Yes. However, around that same time, though, a unit called Shell comes out, which is an MR green mage sub time mage who has thief lore and extremely high speed oh. and speed cast has a mastery ability and speed cast and quicken. So she's kind of insane and dominated Japan for an entire season. But, so you're, uh, expect- you're expecting us to see her. She is she MR or you are? MR. So she's yeah. a nice MR that comes out with Howlet. So okay. She's a, little, she's a little ways away, but I think that's around. So when you're the, you're pulling for her. Out. You're not pulling for Howlet then. I mean, I love Howlet. Like my account is a Magic account. Like when I uh-huh. started the game, I was like, I, it, it's funny. Before I watched any of Cabbage's videos, I was like, I wanted a Black Mage of every element, and then I watched his videos <laughs> like. <"Hey." laughs> um. So Howlet is awesome, and like Ayaka, she's a mage, a yep. wind mage, but she's not really a wind mage she right. doesn't actually deal wind damage yep. so i would like howlet especially because his class is really sick i think they have some kind of um drain force like attack it's not drain force like the whole right right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Damage and heal yeah um and i really like that uh especially at a mage um yeah. that you can build sort of beefy so that's exciting i mean it, it's gonna be like having almost like a dario come out you come at you that can drain hp almost yeah, kind of. and deal damage and, and have yeah. spirit yeah. piercing <laughs> and maybe not like Dario at all, but maybe more like a kill fae that can drain <laughs> HP and have spirit piercing. Less tanky, but yeah. Less yeah. tanky. Yeah. Um, if there was one unit that you hated in live PVP right now, what would it be? Uh, so if you asked me yesterday, uh huh, um, I would have said probably Agrius just because she does a lot of everything. So mm-hmm. regen isn't a lot of healing, but it's not nothing. Um, she has a million different defensive options. You can do 
magic you can get like magic barrier physical barrier on uh paladin sub job you yep. can get spirit up defense up however you want to stop damage you can do it yep. and then she also has uh what is it confuse disable uh silence and <laughs> one. but she has everything <laughs> you're gonna find something that yep. applies to the opponent you're against so yep. actually that's been one thing i've been focused on a lot in the past like two weeks is really learning everybody's resist resistances like I now know just by heart that like Orlando can't be disabled. Uh, Victora and Miranda can't be stopped. Uh, yeah. I like that. So at least not by non LB statuses. Cause you know, LBs have to have their. Almost well, I think, guaranteed I think so. even knowing those resistances are important with ribbon coming out here in the near future. Uh, particularly mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of people at higher tiers of gameplay actually solo multi battles to get gear. And there are yeah. some multi battles where like units will cast charm on you. And being able to know what units are resistant to charm, like Agrius, for example, or mm -hmm. Ruinstern. If you're running an Agrius with maybe like Low Faith or any of the charm resistance card, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry about charm because of how status right. ailments work. And mm -hmm. I think there's going to be a lot of people who don't realize how how important the 30% stop resistance and slow resistance for Ribbon is going to be. Would you agree? Oh, for sure. Yeah. Ribbon is going to be huge for PvP for anybody who has that headache of Agrius or yep. I think Delita also has a stop strike, right? He, I didn't. I didn't yes. Pull yep. Him. Yep. Also, though, a fun, fun little aside. Uh, yesterday, actually, I was doing a live PvP match. Uh huh. And I, I hit my own Agrius with my Victor LB just to get like some damage out and stop my opponent. I charmed both my Agrius and his Agrius. What happens <laughs> if you charm your own <laughs> unit? Oh, they hit you. Yeah, that's like they hit you. Time. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's just like your punish. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like if you stop your unit, right? Like it doesn't stop. Like it doesn't change how stop works. So yeah, it, they still attack you. Uh, we um, do. We do have a question from Div as well in chat. Uh, Delita okay. has all of those skills and um, abilities as well. Is Agrius more viable because she's more tanky in live PvP, or is Delita yes. just as viable? Yeah, my yes. So he is viable for sure. I'm pretty scared of him. His attacks get really high, and I do like playing Victra, who's yeah. gonna get pretty blown up. Like I built her, I built her with Siren, so she has the fire resist and the slash resist because of Delita. Yep. But he still does a lot of damage, and he still has some status effects. Um, but on top of that, uh, yeah, I would say Agris is more relevant though because of her beefiness, and she does less damage, but she doesn't do no damage. It's kind of insane how much she can do and her agility is really high like i can have golem on my agrius with a like a scion card and stuff like that and she still has like 90 plus agility it's really dumb <laughs> you know there's there's another comment here in chat as well um just since i think chat has a lot of relevant questions right now talking That's about how charm and confuse on live pvp seems garbage since auto attack can dispel it but you just talked about running uh victoria's lb uh what are your thoughts on that because i would think a charm or a confuse would waste an enemy's attack when they so could have been attacking you. It's disruptive. Mm -hmm. um, and that's the main thing. Now, actually, one cool thing I'm going to mention real quick is I want more people to know about it because I feel like it's mainly self-contained in the live PvP server after a recent tournament. Yeah. Now that they've given us the ability toggle, if you turn your abilities completely off, you can't just do right. like toggle, right. dual, toggle, whatever. If they're completely off, your charm units cannot use abilities in live PvP. Yep. So... If you're losing to charm, I and I understand this is rough around guild battle time because it's your own damn fault. Uh, yeah, I remember when I attacked you? I attacked <laughs> yeah. you in a guild battle, and I still had my range abilities off. I was like, God damn it! Um, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> so that was like the first week. But anyway, see so yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, turn it back on. Um, or so yeah, turn them off. Charm's not gonna be as bad. However, like you're still losing control of your character, and that is massive. Like even confused, I get it. All they have to do is hit you. But you know what they're not doing? They're not healing. They're not quickening. They're not hasting or buffing. They're not attacking you. That disruption is massive. And even though it's still, you're losing. You're losing a lot. You're losing yeah. a turn basically. Yeah. And it's like a, it's like a mini stop. And I mean, also with like Kilfe that exists, right? Kilfe's basic attack is going to destroy your melee characters if they're not built to stop magic damage, right? Right, right, right. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I actually, when I was playing against Daniel, uh, I charmed his Delita. So it didn't do a ton of damage because Victora. Yeah, right. Ice whatever. Right. Um, but his Delita, like, moved past his guys and killed his Kilfe. Like, that's pretty good. Yeah. Like, only a basic attack, he had his abilities off. She was still, she was damaged from something earlier. Yeah, he from the raw attack. He would have. Yeah, and then he just went smack it for like 1.3k or whatever it was, finished her, and then the game was over. Because now he has to spend his only other unit's turn 
getting Delita off, who's also got like 100 health and probably going to kill him, the game's over. So, um, Charm and Confuse are big, especially when you hit all of their units with it. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think is the most um, underrated live PvP unit out there? Um, oh, I guess continuing my answer from earlier, what kind of helped that? Mustadio. Um, <laughs> he, he's now one of my most feared units, just because because of his ability to apply status effects at a higher rate, um, on a 97 faith unit, he has a 67% disable instead of a 48. Yep. Which that extra 20%, it, you feel it over time. Yep. Yep. Um, so Mustadio, I think, is someone who's not maybe as valued, but is very, very good. Like he, and he's super fast, so he keeps up with URs. Maybe his health isn't the highest, but like he shouldn't be in the front line anyway. You just put your other guys up there and get to move back and ping people. So it's, do you, that's, the HP isn't much of an issue. Do you see Ruin Stern? Uh, changing how live PvP is played at all? Changing how it's played? Probably not. Maybe changing some considerations for um, maybe how you like, maybe you'll spec for a little extra slash resist or something. Yeah. Uh, maybe you'll put more slash resist on your uh, tanks that might be taking hits from people, but it's it's hard to say. Like, you can play live PvP in so many ways that sometimes, like, a unit's amazing on paper. Like he's his stats are obviously across the board are very right. high compared to most right. other units. But you still have to perform. Like you still have to put yourself in a situation to use those. Like if your opponent runs away, how are you gonna deal with it? Do you have quick and a catch up? Are you just gonna wait the clock out? Like can he move up and not take hits the whole time? There's a lot of things like that to consider. Um it's not as simple as just saying like yes or no to how impactful he's gonna be. But he's, I mean, he's a very good unit. Um, the only issue, I think, is he only has slash damage, right? Yes. So you can't necessarily build him for variety. Like I know he, his earlier. sub is Samurai and Assassin, so yes. Yeah, so Tadif, I mean, again, the defense piercing is pretty great. Yeah. But like Tadif was saying earlier, like using Ziza with Lancer, or I, I said in the comments, Rob with Lancer, like using off damages on units can throw people off a lot because yeah. uh, you're, you're expecting one thing, like, oh, this is the meta way to play it, and then someone does something else, you're like, oh, shit. I so if, if you saw if you saw a Lancer Ziza like Tadif was talking about, like what, my Ziza? Is that your Ziza too? <laughs> <laughs> No, I use around Thief mainly because I mm -hmm. like to do Steel Vision and Shadowcast and all the annoying stuff and Steel Time especially. Yep. But I do have like 60k JP saved up to dump on Lancer for when I have the time to build her up because um, Mana Strike's a hell of an ability. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, how do you feel about uh, Ildira? Do you think she'll be changing uh, live PvP at all? Already has. Yeah. Already has. Uh, tell um, me a little bit about that, because I saw her limit break, and I couldn't tell so, how to utilize her because I'm not a math guy, so maybe you are. <laughs> here you go. I'm going I'm to walk you through a, a line of play here. All right, all right. Have you seen Locke's video about this, about when he uh, used the level 69 Ildira? I have heard of it. I haven't watched it, though. Okay, so this is what happened. He's uh -huh. playing Venera, Victora, and Ildira. This is just one example, but it illustrates mm -hmm. what you can do. Um, so high agility units with an Ildira. Okay. He walks up uh, with, he gets the first turn with Venera. Steel right. time, and, and he spawns across from the opponent because positioning. So that's what makes this really happen, but it, the game is right. crazy. He walks up, steals time the first unit. Second turn, walks up with Venera, steals time the other unit. Because the third unit doesn't get a turn yet, he walks up with Ildira, CT average. I'm sorry, no, LB, LB. Yeah, the LB, which it's plus 400x or 200x? So... It translates to 40 CT, and yeah. then if you're a multiple of three, this is assuming it's max. Yeah. Um, 40 CT, and then if you are a multiple of three, which 69, that's why he stayed there, and then two 99s, they get an extra 20, so it's plus 60 CT. Okay. Now, because he's still time, they were so low that that 60 actually put him, his team took another turn. Okay. So now he gets to walk up and do some damage, do some damage. Now, remember, his team's really fast. Yep. Ildira takes her turn, CT average. Yep. Everybody got averaged. Now his units are faster, so they take two more turns. The so he, hasn't he uses the CT average. So CT average affects your opponents and you and in the yours. area of the cast, right? So if, and yeah, it, so if you take those turns and then you do it, you're going to bring yours up, theirs down, and because you have the higher agility units like Venera and Victora, they're going to take the next turn first because their uh, CT ticks are a lot higher than your opponents. So then they, he just did more stuff and then killed all three opponents. His opponent never took a single turn. Wow, that's really cool. That's the kind of stuff you can do with her. She also hits like a truck. So I don't have... I'm missing... I forget what I'm missing for the build, but I have her at 909 magic right now. And she hit 
I had a on my reign with 49 spirit and like 30% magic resistance, I hit like 2.5k. Wow, that's it crazy. Insane damage. Yeah. I can't wait to get her eventually. Um <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Uh... <laughs> would, you, would you would you would you say that she is a must include in most uh live PvP setups now? Oh, it's such a trap. Um there is no must include, but if you wanted to have a solid basis to fight most teams, I would say Yildira isn't a bad option. That's okay. about the most politically the most honest way i can answer that question how about in terms I, of guild battle i know you're more of a live pvp guy but how would you feel she is in guild battle i'm using her in guild battle right now okay um, she does lots of double and triple kills she's fantastic um the only issue is you have to make sure she likes to use her lb the first turn so you have to make sure that you do your mock battles so that she that's actually useful so i have wall in the middle so he walks up does his hate thing it's right. fine but that if they funnel in behind him, you have to be careful because of Agrius because of her uh, lined LB. Yeah, it's it's tough. I actually got triple killed by Rolando. Oh, no. Divine, Div Divine Ruination went doot, doot, doot through all uh -huh. these stuff by Elvira. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was bad. <laughs> That's terrible. Actually, triple kill, but it might as well have been. That is terrible. Um, we are approaching uh, the end of our time together, Prodigy. Is there any other thing for live PvP that you're excited about or that you want to shout out for the community? Um, I will answer a question I see in chat. So, yeah, do it. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I can't pronounce that name. I'm not even going to butcher yeah. it. <laughs> Wait, yes, uh, if, if there's a must-have unit or a must-have VC. No. Unit-wise, no. There are recommended VCs. So especially if you are only like starting leona's castle is amazing it's a nice just like easy 15 up of both defense types it's great it's it's neutral the crit can sometimes be relevant yep um then like valve love is actually a good stat stick it has a decent amount of health it gives you 20 slash attack and 30 percent attack that's workable yep uh, but don't sleep on mrs like you don't need to have a maxed out odin maxed out death machine like they help don't get me wrong but you don't need them you can definitely play around with using things like iron giant or whatever you just have to Tune your team a little more intelligently. Top five, um, uh, top five MR cards or UR cards uh, or top five VCs. Okay, uh, which one? <laughs> uh, both of them. So just top five VCs, top five units for live PvP that people could get. Oh, geez. oh units. Okay, um, top five units that everybody can make use out of. Um, are we assuming budget or no budget? Throw a couple budget in there, a couple non-budget. Okay, no budget, Gilgamesh, budget, Phoebe. Then go for Ildira if you can, Miranda. So basically the time ages. Anything yep. that can manipulate CT. Yep. In terms of see, actually we'll say those as like supports and like good on every team. Yep. Uh then if you want to talk about like DPS units, Victor is amazing. She has two different damage types. Her thief is not don't sleep on the thief. You can there's a lot of ways to get slash bonuses. Uh put it her snipe dagger hurts. Her sneak attack kills evade teams because it's an automatic hit from behind. Ketone is amazing. Uh evasion, drain force, and stop. basically a guaranteed stop right. on most people. Yep. Uh, and then Kill Fae is like kind of a nice Swiss Army knife as well. So those are the units I would say at a very quick spit them out type thing. That, that'd be my answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there was an important question in chat just before um, we end our time together. Are you a uh, team you are Zazan or do you believe? Yes. Wow. Okay. Well, why do you believe in you are Zazan? Because I love original Zazan. I still use him in live PvP. He's just he deserves more no honestly though uh zazan is my pick for units i think that could actually win it the unit i actually want is murmur okay you're a, you're because... the second murmur of the night really who else yeah said uh tadif mentioned murmur as well on hey, his list yeah. of potential we also have one more question in chat as well you are getting all the questions today prodigy from uh Limonius. can you yeah. lower the bravery above below 50 no. i'm assuming um to get less damage no no um, bravery there is no downside faith you can lower to get less damage yeah bravery it's there's a weird system bravery there's only an upside if you're above 50 and below 50 there's no downside right uh no there's downside if you're below 50 okay it, because it's uh it takes your like bravery is a multiplier so it's like a 50 is yeah. like neutral like you're doing proper damage B below 50 you're taking you're doing less than what you should yeah um and doing more is doing more than you should there you go. And you're countering more, right? Because isn't count, aren't counters based off your bravery as well? So I'm not 100% clear on it, which ones are faith, which ones are bravery. But yeah, yeah, generally, I think the physical ones 
yeah, are based on bravery and some mm-hmm. are based on faith. I just forget exactly which ones are which. You'd have to. Uh, uh, but real quick, I'll just say the you yep. asked about five VCs. Yep. Um, we'll say we'll say MRs because oh, like all the sure URLs MR yeah here. yeah give us uh, MRs. Snow White, I- Snow White, Iron Giant, Cleansing the Mind, uh, Vow of Love, and oh, I had it. Oh, Secret Orders. Um, things okay. that modify agility, like even Cactuar is useful. Things that modify agility uh, to make you take the first turn uh, with some Blitz comps, like whether it's Orlando or Medina or something. Yeah, they're they're very helpful. What about uh, Four Kings that's coming out uh, in a couple weeks? That's the uh, crit crit plus twenty for the party <laughs> and attack plus twenty for the individual unit. Not a fan of crit. No, not a fan of crit. Okay. <laughs> no. not, not, going, not, tar- not to take a, a card slot. No, like for gear, I have a lot of crit gear. Like I have a crit ice lance. I have a crit um, Asafune. But yep. I when it comes to my cards, no, I usually don't touch crit too much. All right, Prodigy. Well, I'm a very bruisery player. I like <laughs> tanky. <laughs> where where can people find you and win? Uh, one more time. Uh, I'm rest. Yes, I, Snow White Guard is my number one. Um, you can find me uh, Wednesdays and Sundays streaming, uh, typically around 7 p.m. Eastern. Although today, I think I'm going to sacrifice my body and get on at a little after reset uh, to stream. <laughs> my <laughs> polls and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes because I'm back to a normal work schedule, so it's rough. But oh, nice. uh, and then YouTube videos. The podcast comes out every Saturday between 12 and 1 Eastern, closer to 1 <laughs> because of editing time. Yep. I'll be filming it Friday nights and my tournament videos come out whenever the tournaments happen so there you go um and then the tournament videos that's do you stream those or do they come out on youtube i stream some it's typically if it lands on a sunday or lands on a wednesday and my opponent is okay with it because sometimes uh people don't want to show like their attack like if they're using a special sub job that's sneaky or certain vision card choices i want to respect that and not show that on stream if they're not comfortable with it but right i have no problem publishing it after because everyone's seen it by that point <laughs> well uh thank you so much for uh joining us prodigy you guys Thanks we are yeah oh. we're gonna have king esper comics up next and we're gonna be talking um uh, about everything that's coming with the anniversary go check out prodigy because he him daniel boone longtime twitch and lock d are kind of the uh live pvp gods um, we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> we're Wait, gonna. When can, when can we expect you to fight me on stream or something? I mean, you're gonna kill. Days. Like you're gonna. You'll just murder me. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I would. I would see immediately. <laughs> now, if you guys are long time, put together a content creator cup. I will do it. Um, I would love to do that. So more words on that in the future. And we're gonna go ahead and transition to the pre-show now, just for a moment, as we get King Esper on. Thank you so much again, Prodigy. Thanks for having me.